Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how I rig up for sand whiting. Now the rig that I personally use for sand whiting is no different to the flathead one, but just with a minor change, and that is with the hook. So I still have the sinker running along my main line, then I've got a red bead to protect my knot on the swivel, attach a swivel as well, uh, but this time I'm using a size 6 swivel, um, it's a smaller swivel because the lighter I fish catching whiting, the more whiting I'm going to catch. With my trace, now you can use anywhere between 6 pound to 12 pound trace depending where you're fishing. If I'm fishing off the beach, I like to use 12 pound, uh, just in case I hook up a nice decent brim, flathead um, and even possibly a jewfish. So, uh, the, the length of the trace is anywhere between 30 to 40 centimetres, it's a bit shorter um, considering that you know if you're fishing off the beach there's a lot of current waves, um, it will uh, you know, drift your bait over your main line, it will tangle it up. So the, the shorter you have your trace the better it is and you can feel uh, the bites a lot better. Um, with this hook, I'm using a, a long shank bait holder hook. Now if you can see it uh, on the length here on the side, it's got um, these these little uh, knots here, and that sort of holds your bait onto the hook. So when you slide a worm or a nipper on, um, it will literally cover this hook. A lot of people use the typical, um, or I call them the traditional long shank hooks, the, the, the thin red ones. I don't like to use them because as the water is moving your bait around, it's going to drag that bait down towards the the edge or the tip of the hook and it's not going to hold the bait properly but when you use a long shank bait holder hook like I have now uh, this is a perfect all-rounder hook for whiting, brim, flathead um, even in freshwater if you're going for carp and yellow belly um, this is my go-to hook so keep your rig simple uh, if, it's a, if it's a beach that you're fishing where there's not much swell I would use a smaller ball sinker than this one um, size 1 or 2 the size 3 I mean look it's 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 perfect. Um, it will get you the distance and it will keep your bait um, down on the bottom where the whiting are feeding. But if you can fish light, um, you'll catch more fish. The main line anywhere between ten to eight pound. Um, if you're using braid, um, go around six pound. But with mono, I just like mono. It's my it, personally it's 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 a it, it is better than and braid and it's a lot cheaper. So main line anywhere between 8 to 10 pound fluorocarbon trace FC rock 6 to 10 pound um, nothing too big or thick and don't forget to attach these pink tubes these pink tubes are awesome if you're fishing in dirty water or after a rain event um, it just helps the fish locate where your bait is and it will mimic a blood worm as well so if you're using worms like blood worms tube worms even beach worms uh, this pink tube will definitely draw attention to whiting close by. So this is how I rig for my whiting, and I hope that you can see the rig. And it's just a very simple rig. You don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need to measure exactly how long your trace should be. It's just a guesstimate, and this is by far the best rig that I use for whiting. If you've got any questions, please feel free to pop a comment. I'm more than happy to respond and help you catch your whiting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short clip. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos, and I will definitely come up with more videos very soon.